Okay, so on your second floor landing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you. Wait, that's <laughs> this fully furnished house and lot for sale in San Mateo Rizal near Batasan. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at presolo underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another presolo open house tour. So as you can see, the front is or the facade is really gorgeous. And even when you see it from this angle, you can really appreciate the lines, the very clean lines, and all of the glass and texture that you see. So coming up here from the driveway or from the street, it already makes an impact. And then here you can see your human gate and your vehicle gate. So let's go through this one first. And you will be welcomed by a very landscaped garden. So you have your garden around, this corner up until the front part of your main entrance. But first, let's check this one out. You have here a two vehicle car port. So it's covered. It's gonna be, your cars are gonna be protected from the elements. And then you have a very wide manual gate and then some storage over here. I also like that they put some texture on the ceiling. So you have some wood like tiles up top. And then here you have access to the side of your property, which we will go to later on. But again, instead of just putting a flat wall, you have this accent. It's a nice touch. Okay. So let us take this one step up to your main entrance. You have here a digital lock, although right now it's closed. That way it doesn't close on me. <laughs> And upon entering, you have this really high ceiling for your living space. Hi! <laughs> okay, so from here you can see your main stairs, but we're gonna go up the stairs later on. For now, just appreciate just how high the ceiling is. So everything that you see in here, the furniture, the appliances, it's all inclusive. So even your really cool chandelier. And even your custom curtains, because you're not going to find these in the department store. These are custom. Okay. So moving over to this area, we have your formal dining area. <laughs> it's kind of redundant. I like that they placed a mirror on this wall as an accent, but also to maximize the space. It wasn't necessary because the space is already big, but it certainly adds. And then over here, we have sliding doors that go out to the side of your house. And you have here a nice C 
seating area. You also have here a vertical garden, which is empty as of the moment, but just imagine, right? Kung puno to ng halaman, sobrang ganda. And then this open area extends all the way to the back, which of course I'll show you in a bit. Then from your dining area, you have your kitchen. This is a lovely, lovely kitchen. You have an island counter with your sink, as well as a bar here in front that fits three stools, if I'm not mistaken, yet. Yeah, it fits three stools, included, of course, your um, rose quartz colored <laughs> drop lights, and then your stove over here. I want you to check the tiles out. So it's a very subtle blush pink color that suits your rose gold. Did I say rose quartz earlier? I meant rose gold drop lights. So even your trimmings and your finger holds here are in that nice blush, almost rose gold color. Actually, if you if you really look at it, very hotel vibes, sha, no? It has that luxe but modern, it's still sleek kind of vibe. Very, very reminiscent of, again, hotels. You even have a chiller over here, your refrigerator. Again, everything is included. And then right next to your kitchen, you have your daily kitchen, which is. Oops, not the sa fan. Sorry, sa mic. <laughs> which is. You're really, really neat. You have your uh, gas stove over here, your sink over there, and it isn't different from your formal kitchen. So sometimes auxiliary kitchens tend to be a little, you know, less formal than the formal kitchen, right? But this still looks pretty formal to me. It's very similar to the formal kitchen, save for, of course, your dining table over here or your lounge <laughs> breakfast nook. And then from your auxiliary kitchen, you have access to the side of your house, which is where your service area or areas are. So here you can see the garden from the front. And then this is your, you can see your dirty kitchen or your general, again, service area. But over to the back is where your laundry area is appointed. So your washing machine, some storage, actually a lot of storage and then your water tank. And then as you saw earlier, the nice little plant over there in the corner. Okay, so, oh, that's adorable. Look at this, this is the vent from the auxiliary kitchen. So let's go back. Ooh, this is probably analog, no? Yeah. And then from here, you can appreciate the sliding door as well, which we were not able to see earlier. And then on our way back to the living area, you will pass by the toilet and bath for the guests. And I love how they used all of these tiles. So you have your plain tiles to offset just how busy the rest of the tiles are. And it makes for a very interesting visual. So nice. Okay, so let's head up the second floor. This video is sponsored by Carousel, the leading online platform for buying and selling new and secondhand goods. In Carousel, everyone wins. Buy, sell, give. Anything goes. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already, because we see you watching our videos and we super appreciate it, but maybe you've forgotten to subscribe, so this is a friendly reminder. Okay, so on the second floor, we have here this hallway, which leads to two of the bedrooms. Let's check this one out first. So this room they've decided to use as the staff quarters. Not a man. <laughs> as a staff quarters. So it's a nice sizable room. You've got lots of storage and a non-suite toilet and bath, which follows the same aesthetic as the one we saw downstairs with less pattern on the floor and a more colorful machuca-like tile. So these aren't actual machuca, machuca tiles. These are 60 by 60s with uh, print. So if you're wondering, 
Pachuca tiles are hand painted tiles, so talagang it's a work of art in each tile. Okay, so this is bedroom number one. Right next to it, we have bedroom number two. And this one they used as the girls' room. So the personal items are not included, so you know you're not gonna get all the toys with the house, sadly. But you will again be getting the appliances and the other, uh, like the air conditioning unit, for example, that is included. So this is just to give you an idea of what you can fit in this room. And also, of course, it has an ensuite, toilet and bath. And I love how they have this theme. So they generally use the cement-like tiles, right? And then the gray flooring and then the machuca-like tiles. Except they actually chose different colors and patterns for each toilet and bath. So this one is in a beige and navy color. The other one was more royal blue, if you remember. So that leaves us with the final bedroom, the master bedroom. And I wonder what the toilet and bath is gonna look like. Of course, you have to fit an altar at the end of the hallway. And this is the master bedroom. I love how when you walk into the room, you have this much space. And then this is the first thing that will draw your eye. It's like a huge painting that's almost floor to ceiling. And it just shows you greenery. It also leads you out to your balcony. Ooh, so bright. So yeah, the glass is actually tinted, slightly tinted. So you have this much space. <laughs> and it goes all the way to the side. Which is perfect for maintenance. Your uh, outdoor unit can fit right in here. And still you have a lot of space for your seating. Okay, so let's go back inside. So you can see that your door and the door to your ensuite toilet bath is right next to each other. This one is sliding to save space. And ta-da! Okay, so the first thing you will see, as if I really took the toilet and bath, no, is your CCTV monitor. So really nice that it's in here as opposed to being anywhere else in the house. You have your built-in wardrobe over here and then the rest of your toilet and bath. So I have your his and her sinks. Your enclosed shower space, your water closet, which is really nice by the way. If you can see the detail over here, you have the stainless steel. Of course, this is just a particular model from that brand, but it's still nice. And you have a bathtub. This toilet and bath is very different from the rest of the toilet and baths that we've seen, which were mostly concrete like tiles and machuca like tiles, right? This one is marble, <laughs> marble glass and stainless steel, which again feels very... You even have these mosaic, or glamorous mosaic tiles. Again, feels very hotel-like. Okay, so if you're wondering about the sizes, let me do a recap. You have 204 square meters of lot area and then 300, oh sorry, 235 square meters of floor area. Two stories, three bedrooms, four toilet and baths, and a two vehicle car port. You also have that really nice uh, auxiliary kitchen and then service areas both on the side and on the back, the back being your laundry area. And again, this is in San Mateo, Rizal. Oh, also by the way, the main door and the staircase that you see here is nada. Yeah, that's, that's meant to last a very long time. So if you are interested in a place like this, again, this is in San Mateo Rizal, just a few minutes to drive away from Batasan. Share this video to anyone who's interested, or if you are interested yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. 
And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs>